Welcome back everybody. If you clicked on this video, you know it's about Olight's March flash sale. And if that upsets you and you clicked on it anyway, you're either an idiot or a masochist. Either way, we are going to drive on. All I'm gonna do is basically talk about the sale details and uh, then we're gonna show you the beam output from the different offerings uh, this month. So first off is this big mad bad bama jamma. It is the Olight Marauder 2. And uh, this thing is a monster in terms of output. Um, you guys are going to see that in a minute, but it will turn the night into day. Uh, as you guys can see there, it has the option to have your standard wide output. And then you can also turn it into a throw uh, type of light with really high candela. Um, what's cool about it is it's also a power bank. So uh, here in the rear, it's closed up as it is now, but the same USB-C to charge it also can be used to charge other items. And uh, I believe it is a 15, nope, 5,000 milliamp um, charger on there. So you get pretty good, a pretty good amount of charging. I think it's like four iPhone charges, for example. Um, so power bank and flashlight. And of course, whenever you're done using it to charge other stuff, you can charge it back up for the flashlight itself. All the details should be up here in your screen in terms of output, those sorts of things as well as the price point during the flash sale. If you guys are watching this video, the flash sale is either live or is already over, but obviously not super lightweight. You're probably not gonna EDC this, but for a light to have around the house or even a searchlight or something like that, it's definitely a cool option in my opinion. Uh, moving on, we have this one here, and I do not know how to pronounce this. Every time they come out with a new one, I still don't know how to pronounce it, but it's P-E-R-U-N, P-R-U-N, P-R-U-N, whatever. Um, this here, has their uh, standard battery in there. Again, 5,000 milliamp, so it's pushing some power. It does have the charger there on the rear. I have it hooked up in the uh, wireless headset here that is an option, um, but basically it is designed to primarily be a floodier type of light. And it also has an indicator up front, right on the lens that as you get closer, it dims it down. So that way you don't blind yourself. If you're trying to look at something real close, it will dim it as you guys I think you guys can see that here on camera, hopefully anyway. So yeah, it has that auto sensing feature on there, sort of like Surefire's IntelliBeam. And uh, again, it does have a two-way clip as well that you can rotate or take off if you want to. Activation here is through the top and uh, you can work through the different modes there uh, just by working that button. As you guys can see, it does have a lockout mode as well if you want to lock it out for travel. This month, it's sort of like the purple blue hue is the hotness for this month. Great light. I like 90 degree flashlights. I don't know why. I use them all the time. I don't know why I like them better than <laughs> standard flashlights. But then we have this guy here, which is a brass i3T. It's powered by a AAA battery. Um, it has that two way clip as well. Really small. It would be a great concealed carry light uh, for somebody who's, you know, looking at it for defensive use, in my opinion except it's low high interface. They need to make a version of this with high low interface for America. This might be fine for, I don't know, Europe or something, but in America, we want high low. So it is what it is, um, but I know some folks really dig them if you're you know, just looking for something small for like working on a car or something like that, or just everyday tasks, it's perfectly fine for defensive use. I would go with something else. It would not be my choice personally. Then we have these two here, which are new. It's the Baton 3. Obviously the O-White Baton has been out for a while, but uh, they have these new cases, which are also chargers for it and also power banks. So just like the Marauder, charge it with the USB-C. Obviously it has indicator lights letting you know where it's at in terms of charging. And then you can open it up and your new Baton 3, which again, these are new. The old ones were 1000 lumen. These are 1200 lumen. So you're getting more power out of the same size on there. We have our magnetic tail cap charging system. So any of your standard o light chargers will work but that system is right down in there. And you can see it will charge it. The light just came on there. It will charge that battery from the power bank itself. And again, you can also use it to charge other things. It comes in blue, black, and I believe there's red. I don't have red though, um, but the lights themselves, super handy, two-way clip activation there on the side. And I mean, the size and power output on these is just nuts compared to other offerings out there on the market. Um, really, there's a lot of reviews out there. Don't take my word for it. Check them out. Not on the new ones, but on the old ones. There's tons of reviews on them. And then lastly is the O-Bulb. Cool concept, in my opinion. It does have the magnetic chargers as well. Again, works with any of Olight's standard magnetic chargers. And you can mount it up on this thing here, which is a piece of steel, basically with a 3M backing on there. So you could stick this inside of a safe um, on a workbench, whatever, inside of 
uh, RV, anything like that. And then to activate it, you just press it and it will come on in low and you can work through different modes. So you can keep pressing it. It'll come on in high and you guys can get an idea of the output. We'll show you all the beam patterns here in just a second as well. And it also has kind of a red mode, you know, if you're into like a red light district or whatever, and then it has the flashing mode as well. Uh, if you want to signal or anything like that. So those are the lights, guys. You guys should have already seen the prices, all of those things, the output. Let's check out the beam pattern. For those of you that are new here, the spot there where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 yards away. And then those trees back there are approximately 40 to 50, depending on the actual tree. The output that you guys see right now is from the Marauder on low. <laughs> That is not uh, a joke. It actually is on the lowest setting. I do have my camera set on manual to be as close to what I see here with my human eye as possible. Um, we do have a good bit of illumination out tonight. It's near full moon as of when I'm recording this. So uh, you guys can see what it looks like there on low. We're just going to walk it through the different modes here as we turn it. <laughs> it's comically bright. I mean, that thing is crazy. It's starting to wash out um, the camera a little bit. But honestly, it's not far off from what I see again with my human eye. It is a wall of light. I mean, you can see everything in front of you uh, extraordinarily well. Um, and then there, if we switch over to the throw mode, you guys get an idea of what that looks like at this distance. We'll go across the lake here and show you guys that as well. Um, but that is some intense light, ladies and gentlemen. Just as a comparison, again, this is on low here on the Marauder. Now I'm going to turn the baton on that is the baton on high. Again, that's on turbo or whatever, the highest mode possible. Marauder on low, and then turn that Marauder up. Yeah, it's no joke. And uh, once since we have the uh, baton out, you guys can see it's on high there. You guys can get a look at the hotspot at this distance, and then we'll kind of just work our way through the different modes, just to give you an idea of what they look like. And again, double tap, and that's your 12. Uh, 1200 lumens right there. The output here is from the i3T on low. At this distance, it's probably not doing much for you. And then on high, it's giving you something. That's why I always say I wish this light was high low, but hey, I don't run the company. We've moved down, we're about 10 feet from the fence and I'm gonna take out the O bulb here and turn it on low. As you guys can see, it's not doing much in terms of uh, changing the illumination out on the fence. Maybe a little bit there as we bring it in, take it off bring it in. If we get it on high though, it does give you a good bit of illumination out there on the fence. And then just to kind of work through the different modes, you guys can see there how it looks. Obviously not designed to be a throw monster, but this inside of a room, it would definitely light it up. The tree line across the lake is approximately 110 yards away. And uh, the Marauder right now is on low. You can see it's getting a good uh, wall of light down here at the grass on my side of the lake, but not doing much over there um, across the lake. Now, if we turn it up on high, <laughs> that is insane, insane, folks. You can see everything in that field extraordinarily easily here with my human eye. Uh, really anything in the trees, bird size, uh, squirrels, I'd be able to see just fine. Again, that's on the non-throw mode. If we switch over and max out those candela, that's what that looks like right there. I mean, it may be hard to tell the difference on camera. I'm looking at the screen uh, and it looks, I guess, similar in intensity, but I'm telling you in person, it's not. This is much, much, much more intense. Just take a look there at that shed as an example. It's very different um, in terms of the intensity, but still, this is crazy intense as well. Uh, it's definitely got some output, folks. With the beam pattern out of the way, that's really all I got for you guys. Uh, that will wrap today's video up. If you like this video and you aren't subscribed, following, liking, wherever you're watching this, please go ahead and do so. This thing, though, uh, the output's crazy. It's, it's hard to really show on camera. I did the best I could, but it's impressive for sure. And uh, obviously, link down below for all of these things if you want to pick them up in the video description. That is an affiliate link, so I do get credit for that. Olay is not paying me to make this video, but I do get credit if you guys do use my link. So full disclosure on that. And uh, I suppose that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.